words I say, but is it really me? Look around and state your view, but can you really see? Say I gave you good vibration, it could be illusion. Living in a world that's filled with hatred and so much confusion, you ought to be born. They don't the coke, the pills, the smoke, they give a brief sensation. Party lights and hustling types are all you ever know. Going round in circles where you're gonna wind up and you don't even know you ought to be born again. You ought to be born again, but Jesus. And you can start all over, all over again. You ought to be born again. Ought to be born again with Jesus in your life. And you can start all. The message I deliver is heaven sent. The time is now to stand up and be brave because the realization is Jesus said, turn away from hatred, deviate from sin. Open up your heart and let Jesus in. Because when you stand with Christ, you gain most in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. You ought to be born again.
right now. There's an invitation. What Jesus said, I stand at the door and I knock. Jesus is knocking at your door right now. There's an invitation. Can you hear him knock? Can you hear him knock? He wants you to open up the door and invite him in that he may suck with you, that he may fellowship with you. He will make it all right. Whatever that thing is, whatever that problem is, whatever that situation is, there's problems in the promise. The promises of God are yea and amen. You may be going through a problem today, but there was problems in the promise. There's a promise that God made that he would never forsake you, that he would never leave you, that he would be with you even to the end of the earth. That no weapons formed against you shall be able to prosper. That greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The promises of God rest on his promises, abide in his promises, lean on his promises. Right now, as the word has gone forth, if you heard God speak unto your heart, God speak now in your spirit, in your soul. This is a time that you can come. You can come right now. The altar is open. That you can come just as you are. You can come. Come unto Jesus. Come unto Jesus. You're riding by right now in your vehicle. And you're hearing the word of God. If you're driving by right now, and the Spirit of God uh, is speaking to you right now, you can yield yourself. You can yield to the Spirit. You can yield to God. You can say, Yes, yes, God. I know that you died for me. I believe today that you suffered, bled, and died. You died on the cross. You rose on the third day. You seated at the right hand of the Father in heaven, praying a prayer of intercession for me. Right now, I receive you as the son of the living God. I believe it today. By confessing with your mouth, and believing in your heart, ye shall be saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, glory. Wherever you're sitting, just meditate right now upon the Lord. Hallelujah. God wants to heal. God wants to deliver. And God wants to set free. Hallelujah. Today. Amen. I want you to all to have the Holy Spirit with you when you leave this place today. When you leave and go to your prospective homes, when you go in peace and love with Jesus Christ in your heart, leave here with peace. Father, we ask you. Take these folks here, here tonight. Let them go home to their respective places to give them hope in their hearts that Jesus is with them at all times. We thank you, dear Lord. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen.